So um, this is a question from David in Mexico City. He says, uh, he asks, is sensitivity related to frequency range? Hi, uh, I am part of a small group of friends that truly admire your dedication and simple way of explaining not so simple things. Uh, thanks a lot and keep up the excellent job. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see, days ago, two of us had a small argument. I sustained that speaker sensitivity is not necessarily related to frequency range capacity. Well, one of my friends insisted that those two parameters are totally related. Uh, to me, a high sensitivity speaker could be a subwoofer, which by definition does not handle a wide range of frequencies. But I could not convince my friend. Would you be so kind to give us some light? I highly appreciate it and best regards. Thanks, Dean. Um, well, Dean, I'm, I'm sorry to say your friend is right. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, the sort of fundamental, you know, rules behind some of this stuff. There's, there's something called Hoffman's Iron Law, which says that uh, the sensitivity of a speaker is proportional to box size and the cube of the low frequency cutoff. That means the low frequency extension or the frequency range as you describe it. So um, you can sort of pick two out of three, a uh, low base extension, small box or or high sensitivity so um, in your subwoofer example um, you know you could have a, a subwoofer that's high sensitivity um, but would have to be a very large box and again it's related to the cube of the low frequency cutoff so that's an example that would be um, if you wanted to have a a box with 40 hertz base extension but you want it to be 3 dB more sensitive it has to be physically eight times larger by the parameters you know um, or conversely if you wanted to have 3 dB or if you wanted to keep the same sensitivity but make the system play an octave lower so have um, you know uh, 20 hertz extension instead of 40 hertz extension it would need to be that eight times larger once more um, or again lower sensitivity so you know you're 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 you can trade one for the other, um, and so uh, that's part of the reason why you see not particularly high sensitivity speakers these days, because power is cheap to a degree um, now versus what it, it used to be. Um, so you know a lot of folks are making the design trade off of for a given amount of you know low frequency extension, would I rather have the box be smaller uh, and lower sensitivity or larger and higher sensitivity so they tend to go smaller because people want smaller form factors so you can fit them into other parts of your life so you don't just have giant boxes in your room um, or uh, so it's again it's that sort of two out of three things so we, we could also relate um, fre frequency extension and, and sensitivity um, and keep box size fixed but you're sort of just trading one for the other um, and there's also a limitation to um, what you can actually build because um, for higher sensitivities you may need um, you know there's only a certain amount of cone mass that you can practically make you can't make the cone lighter weight than a certain threshold or you can't make the coil or moving system light you know lower mass um, and you know when, when I'm speaking about this I'm talking about direct radiating systems so like a cone speaker in a box um, you know, th the rules change slightly with different alignments and um, things like horns, you know, can, can change some of this stuff. Again, you're still trading box size for sensitivity, but, the, you know, you can sort of bend the curve a little bit on some of this stuff. Um, and there's a few dB difference between sealed and ported for a given cutoff frequency and things of that nature. But overall, you know, in broad strokes, yes, your friend's right. Um, and, um, you know, y you're sort of trading box size for sensitivity. Um, and um, it's particularly uh, the case in woofers uh, that it, you know again in mid-range and tweeters there's a different you know that um, the physical sizes are much smaller and so really what's what's driving the system sensitivity is, is the low frequency alignment of the whole system so um, but yeah I, I, th I think it's fun that you guys have a group of friends who can talk about this stuff I, I could use a few friends like that too uh, so if you need a third friend, let me know. And uh, I appreciate your, uh, you know, your question and, uh, you know, keep on working on this stuff. And uh, we look forward to hearing, you, hearing from you again if you got more questions. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.